the second order reaction rate dog is the rate at which a single chemical species combines to produce a new species, such as methyl radicals combining in gaseous form to form ethane molecules. And this dog can be written in patient form as a, the derivative of x with respect to t is equal to k multiplied by a minus x squared. In this tutorial, I am going to classify this ODE and then go on and find its uh, general solution. So given that ODE, I'll start by classifying that ODE. Looking at uh, the left-hand side of that equation there, we just have the derivative of x with respect to t, which is an ordinary derivative. So what we are having there is an ODE, an ordinary differential equation. So it's an ODE there. And uh, looking again at the left-hand side, the highest derivative that we have there is just the derivative of x with respect to t. So the, the highest derivative there is a 1. So what we are having there is a first order ODE. Now looking again at the uh, left-hand side, the derivative of x with respect to t. Its power there is raised to a power 1. So the power of the highest derivative there is a 1. So what we are having there is degree is 1. Now looking at that equation there, the dependent variable is this one, the x. And if you look at the right hand side, we see that the dependent variable, that x there, is raised to a power 2. The dependent variable is raised to a power which is other than 1. And when the dependent variable is raised to the power which is other than 1, then we have a non-linear differential equation. So what you are having there is a non-linear first order ODE, which has a degree 1. Classification of uh, ODEs uh, helps us in uh, solving the ODE because if we know what type it is, then it guides us uh, to the method of solution that we can use to find the solution of uh, the given ODE. That's why the classification there is uh, necessary. So that's a first order ODE. And for us to solve first order ODEs, uh, the easiest method we can try to use first is trying separation of variables. So in this case, we can see that we can uh, separate the variables there, put the x's on their own, then where we have constants, we put them on their other side. So if I put uh, the variable x on the left-hand side, we would have 1 divided by a minus x squared dx is equal to k dt. Then after separating variables, then I integrate on both sides. So our equation becomes the integral of 1, divided by a minus x squared with respect to x is equal to the integral of k with respect to t. Now looking at uh, this fraction here, I can rewrite it uh, using the laws of uh, indices. So the laws of indices there, it will give us uh, a minus x to the power minus 2 with respect to x is equal to the integral of k with respect to t. Now looking at uh, this part here, for us to integrate uh, that part, we can use the formula, the integral of a function f of x raised to the power n with respect to x is equal to f of x to the power n plus 1 divided by f prime, where the f prime there is the derivative of f multiplied by n plus 1 plus a constant of integration c. So looking at uh, this uh, integral there, which is on the left, we say that our f of x there is a minus x. Our f prime, which is the derivative of our f with respect to x, it gives us a minus 1. Our n, the power to which that function is raised, it's a minus 2. So our n there is a minus 2. So if I substitute the values of the f of x, the f prime, and the n, on the integral there, we would have a minus x to the power minus 1 divided by minus 1 times minus 1. So that's the left-hand side. So when I'm done with the left-hand side, I can now move on to the right-hand side, the, the integral of k with respect to t. k is a constant, so we can take it outside the integral. And you know that the integral of k with respect to t, the integral of a constant will give us kt plus the constant of integration c. So in this case, we would have kt plus the constant of uh, integration c. So I can then go on this part here, 
minus one times minus one, it gives us a one. And then uh, rewrite this part here, a minus x to the power minus one. We can rewrite that as a fraction, and then we have one divided by a minus x. So we have one divided by a minus x is equals to kt plus the constant of integration c. So that's uh, the solution that we are having for now. What we want is the general solution of uh, the variable x. So we have to make x subject of the formula. So to make x subject of the formula, I can multiply throughout by a minus x, then divide by kt plus c. Our equation becomes 1 divided by kt plus c is equals to a minus x. Then go on and uh, rearrange this equation here. And we would have uh, x is equals to a minus 1 divided by kt plus c. But just to emphasize that uh, the variable x there is dependent on the variable t, I can write the solution as x of t is equals to a minus 1 divided by kt plus c. So that's the general solution of uh, this uh, given uh, ordinary differential equation.